Hello everybody. Um, welcome back. I kind of felt like I wanted to do a video before my exam starts um, next week. Um, there's a couple of things I guess I wanted to just talk about. Topics, I guess. Um, one being that cost is still not in yet, even though they kind of promised it. Although they kind of promised some new trials too, maybe they put it in and I didn't know, but I couldn't find any um, updates about anything they did this patch. Maybe they're hiding it from me. Um, what else? I have two new costume items, you might have saw them when I was doing my update video. Well, at least the, the black box. I think I bought the flowers right afterwards. But um, basically with the black box, um, I kind of bought it because I thought it would give me some magic crit rate. Um, unfortunately it doesn't. For some reason I thought it did. So I kind of like spent money on something that I kind of didn't need but it's nice to have type of thing. Um, there is like the wing that you can get at the crystal altar that does the same thing. I wish I can get that instead since it looks really nice. But um, it's way above what I can afford um, that people are selling it at. I don't even know where it is. Um, not where it is, but like how much people are selling it now. Before it was like 9,000 9, gold. Now I, I see it for like way more. Um, Hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to get one. Yeah. Um, what else? I When I was leveling a while back, uh, I found out that in order to get your max EXP, like the max amount of EXP for your level, um, is like five levels um, above you. So I would have to kill 59 level monsters to get the max amount of um, uh, EXP that I'll ever get during my level, if that makes any sense. And that if I went anything over that, um, Eden has decided to punish people who go over that 5 level limit um, and make it like really really bad EXP for the level of monsters you're killing it at. Um, if you don't believe me, go try it yourself, but trust me, I have found this out the hard way. Not really, well, I guess it is the hard way. I kind of went to the Highlands back when I was like level 51 or 52 to get some money, because I heard you could get some from there, from the accessories that the monsters dropped, but um, I died many times there, um, just because I was really careless and wasn't paying attention, but that's how I found out. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, I finally completed the Crimson Dungeon, but I had to do it alone, unfortunately, and waste a lot of, um, pots. But I finally got to finish it. Um, that freaking dungeon, I, I really don't like it. It's so hard to complete with other people. The first boss is a piece of cake, walk in the park. The second and third boss is just, what the heck, you know? Um, their AoE is really annoying, and I had looked on the webs like on YouTube to go see if there's any guides for it, and like I see people doing it with like only three people, and I like I have a team of you know five, and we still can't do it. So I eventually end up doing it myself. Um, the uh, I was thinking of doing like a video on how I defeated it but it just takes too much pots to to do it and too much time to do it also but basically the last boss um, the one where uh, like you just keep going forward you don't have to take a left anywhere um, that one <laughs> That one, the last boss, I used a bard and I just kept like running around doing metal burns, so that took like a lot of time. Seeing that my metal, burning metal, sorry, it does only like 600 damage. But eventually I got there. The 
second boss, um, or the first, whatever you want to call it, the boss that was on the left hand side of the map, I used, I think, what did I use? I think I used my shaman for that one. I tried using the cleric and I end up failing. So what I end up doing was the shaman has the skill where it's like it it covers you in a shield and it does damage back to the enemy that's attacking you by a certain amount. So I just kind of stood there, healed myself and cast that and did a little bit of attacking, but for the most part the 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 boss killed itself because of that shield. Um again, that took a while, but nonetheless, I got it done. So I was happy I got my new weapon from that dungeon. It's a really nice one. Um, I was trying to get some fame points at where is it called? Skyreach Jungle, and it's actually really hard because I need a trophy from there or a ring. I forgot what it is. I think it's a trophy. And, um, it's really hard to get fame there because um, somebody told me there's no, well, the reason why it's so hard also is there's no dungeons to complete there, but it's just, they only give you like 65 fame. I mean, come on, I need like 9,000. I, I wish Eden or Aria, whoever I want to blame it on, could uh, change it so that it gives more fame than just 65 points. And it's really quiet there, so if you die, it's really hard to find people to res you. Uh, yeah, that was a pain in the ass sometimes. Luckily, um, some people were there for the time that I was kind of like redoing quests, repeatable quests, to get the fame. So lucky for me, they were there. I think, actually, let me get rid of this meal. I'm going to. I have a lot of um, silver coins kind of uh, in stock because I just kept doing the repeatable quest and never went to the um, the machine to go get my uh, my gifts. So I think I'm actually going to do it now. So why not? I'm next to Highland which is like the next place that I can get it at. Okay, so I finally reached Highland and lucky for me, the machines are just here. So I've completed showing you guys where the machines are. <laughs> um, in the update video, I showed you where it was in Tranquil Hill and now I'm showing you where it is in Highland. So there you go. So let's see what I'm gonna get. Okay, there's one. Hopefully I'll get something really nice, maybe a costume or something. Oh, which reminds me. So Aria um, had sent me an email asking for like some kind of survey, and if I did the survey, I'd get a seven pack expansion. And I totally forgot that they even had that, because it took a while for them to give me my backpack. But they eventually gave it, so yay for a free expansion. I really needed that actually, because... Um, as you can see, I have just too much junk. So let's uh, let's open these um, serious capsules, and maybe that will that's where I'll end up uh, my little daily Eden vlog. Not really daily. What am I talking about? Weekly Eden vlog. So let's go. So what did I get? I got gathering aid, piece of crap, XP charm. Can put that in with that. Uh, eggplant clothing color. Okay. Oh! It's only for male. Can't be traded. For goodness sakes. What can I do with it? So I got one good thing, but unfortunately, I can't do anything with it. I can't trade it. I can't use it on my other account. 
if I meet a guy. So, I think Eden needs to fix this somehow. It's really disappointing to get something really good and then not be able to use it. Um, I guess it answers the question that it doesn't give you any special uh, stats. Or maybe I'm just really unlucky. Somebody can post in the comment if you got one with stats or not. Um, man. Why can I wear it? Can I have a sex change, maybe? Ugh. So disappointing. Oh, hello. I don't know if my alpaca is a woman or a man, but hello. I think it's a guy, isn't it? Probably a guy. That looks like a girl. Anyways, I'm getting on a tangent. So, I think uh, that's it. Damn it! Okay. Can't even give it to my boyfriend because I wanted to. So I guess that's it. I wonder actually how much it sells for. Five silver. Good job. Good fucking job. Well, I guess that's it for today. Or for this video, at least. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.